Alright, okay. So, solid season, solid season. Good, good way to start the show off. I like it, I can't wait for season two. <laughs> now that twist, oh. Oh, nah, they cooking with this next season. This next season gonna be fire after that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am someone who enjoys a lot of the Sonic shows. I enjoyed the Saturday morning show. I enjoyed the Adventures one. I enjoyed Underground. I, I love a lot, pretty much all of Sonic X, regardless of Chris Thorndike. And Boom has its funny moments, but season three of Sonic Prime was... <sighs> now, before I even continue... There's something I do want to establish. So it's, the the animations in the show is great. It, it's it's phenomenal. There's a lot. The, the action's incredible. It's like one of the best you'll see for the series. However, it does nothing for plot wise. Let's start with how this whole season went for like the start of it. So of course you already had Nine betraying Sonic and him taking all the uh, shattered crystals with them to the Grim Dimension, so he had to follow um, him all the way back to that dimension, and he started to create all those mechs, and then he real, and then Nine, of course, realizes that he needs Sonic's power in order to finish utilizing the, uh, the crystals. Now, I was a bit worried, of course, if they were going to try and use all the other dimensions again, because that's what Britain pretty much did the second season did, but at least it was like a bit more engaging, of course, because they at least got you out of that um, jungle area for at least, they were only in there for like one episode in season two, and in this season, it's just gone. It's, 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 it's gone, because, yeah, at least the, the majority of the seasons were, of the season will be spent in like, for a bit of New York, and then in the grip, which, I, it's fine, but there's a bit of a problem later on, which I'll talk about in a sec, once we just talk about what happens in New York. Once there, once Sonic's, like, escapes to New York, because he, um, once Tails realizes that he is needed to finish the prism, he's just pretty much hiding there among, like, the other people who are just trying to also hide from, like, the, uh, distortions, so... He, of course, meets up with the, uh, Resistance again, and they help other people, and then you also have the... The Chaos Council team up, which, which is interesting, because like they have a lot of great moments. I do, I was liking that a little bit, where you had the Chaos Council all working together, because I, I was liking a lot of the uh, dialogue from the old guy. The old guy I felt had a bit more of an improvement this time around compared to the other seasons, I, especially with the headset. I feel like he also had some good action in there. I felt like those two were doing a lot better than the rest of the Egg Council, because with the, uh, I guess that, what, the main version of Eggman, whatever it was, for their council, he was just, he was just there, and then not much else, because it felt, it felt as though those two had a bit more improvement and interactions with the characters, which I can at least appreciate, because it makes, it made them more unique as the season went on. I'm gonna jump a bit, so, pretty much, First three episode, first episode is um them just seeing the Grim, and then two and three are about them um Sonic just like hiding out in New York and also helping other people survive the distortions, and up until the end of episode three where he gives himself up to Nine, and of course he's still trying to reason with Nine and like oh my god I don't know how other people feel about this, but this is going I'm going to just talk about this because the big a majority of like the dialogue of course is going to be just sonic and i try this like bickering back and forth it's just like please you we can stop this together and then it's like no i'm i don't want to and it's just so repetitive because like i i heard that mul multiple times because like it, it felt like this was like on repeat especially with um the next episodes it just felt like it went on for way too long and that's that is the biggest issue with this season so once you have all the um all the other people from like all the other mentions come together in this like avenger style they engage with nine in this 
ro robot army fights, and it's, I guess they're pretty much their Infinity War fight, and it went on for three episodes straight. Because you, I could honestly say this, you could just fast forward, and then you can only just see a little change, that's it, because you know, it felt like this. You had, you had them attacking the army, you had them not being able to fight the army, you had something sad happen, and then you had them working together again, and then at the end you have uh, Nye just powering them up, and then this happened again in the next episode, and then we're gonna make it stronger, and then it does nothing. <laughs> it felt like, I, I, I honestly thought I was in a time loop, I honestly thought I was watching some Groundhog Day situation where Sonic was just failing in each episode, and yet each time he, the, the same events were playing out. It, it, I, I don't know what was going on. How was this just on repeat? To be old guys, an example of just like being just very dragged out. It's like, let's think of Infinity War, where you had the big Wakanda fight in the end of Act 3 of Infinity War, where you had all of them fighting to protect Vision so no one would get their hands on the Mind Stone. Now, let, let's think of that try, like, push dragged out for an hour. That is, that's not something that can be done. There's, there has to be, like, a good amount of time to be utilized. Otherwise, it's just going to be very back and forth with no changes at all in the story. That's what, that's pretty much what happened with this whole robot army fight, where you just had Nine gaining power from the prisms, him enhancing them, and it's, it's just, they, they get stronger, and they're not done. It just went on repeat. Even when Shadow finally joined in after disappearing for, I think, two or three episodes, it still remained the same. It was just the same thing. But with Shadow. I, it, it only started to be different for when Sonic finally went up to this, the top of the tower where Nine was waiting for him and then they finally, you, we get this big fight and I, this I, I, I love a lot of the um, style for it. I love the new ability they show off because you remember Sonic had an ability each time he went into a different dimension. Um, in the uh, what was it? In the water dim this pirate dimension, he was able to float on the water. Um, in the jungle dimension, he was able to uh, he was able to just climb on the trees and use them as saws. I forgot what happened in the. Uh, in New York. I'm not sure, did he get a power? I don't think he got a power, but pretty much in the Grim one, he was able to just make his own platforms and his own barriers, which helped him in the battle against Nine, which I kind of hoped Nine was going to use other abilities, because pretty much the whole time, he was just shooting lasers. That's it. It was He was just shooting lasers like pew, 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 pew. That's it. No. <laughs> he had all those tails, and and in the, I remember in the first fight, he was using them because, like, he had more agility in that fight, and it was a lot more interesting than just firing lasers on non-stop and just getting stronger. Firing lasers, getting stronger, fighting lasers. But, uh, let's just go to the finale. So, the finale, you finally have Sonic reasoning with Nine after six episodes of him saying, Nine, please, we can end this. <laughs> it, th th that took six episodes for that to finally happen and for him to realize, oh, yeah, now I messed up. Yeah, now, now I realize I just destroyed a bunch of dimensions. Yeah, it took him that long to realize <laughs> how bad that was. And you have that moment where um, everyone, of course, wanted to just straight up beat him down, but then Sonic was like, no, no, he, 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 he's sorry, he's sorry, he didn't want to do it. <laughs> My guy, he destroyed your dimension and other dimensions. You cannot just let him off the hook like that. It don't matter if he looked like Tails, he still did all that. Do not let him get the easy route out just by being like, he's sorry.
because before I even continue though, I, that, that that's not something I do normally hate because like I, I I understand that that's that's always a common thing with a with like a protagonist is that they'll always like try to save the villain or their friend from like that dark side and yet the problem of, with this in this situation is that it was very repetitive like with no changes at all throughout the uh, whole season because that was just the whole thing non-stop was that same dialogue of you're not alone we can s end this together and it was going back and forth with practically no changes at all I also realized the A Council betrayed Sonic. Like, oh my gosh! Wow, that they they betrayed it. Who could have ever saw that coming? <laughs> and then they just get thrown into the void. I guess it was like it was like some void. They they got thrown into like shatter spaces and yeah. That, I, I I don't know why that needed to happen. It felt very unnecessary because yeah, it's expected. But I feel like we don't really need that at all because. That's just something we, of course, we're always just gonna expect, because I really don't think that was necessary at all. <laughs> so, the dimensions end up being fixed, or like those um, portals as well as some of the dimensions are fixed once Sonic gives more of his energy to the prism. It fixes it, and then it also drains him. Um, which like looks makes him look looking at ghost state similar to like how his friends looked when you went to that uh his original dimension where it was everything was like in a blueprint format it was pretty much like that where he was like, starting to also fade away uh amy rose is all oh yeah that's something i do want to i'll at least say that though that was also good to see there the amy rose is all working together was fun that because they all did that in the previous season they did that well with uh Roast, Rusty and I guess Black Rose were doing it together great and then when you had Thorn joining together it completed the set and it was that was good to see interactions with all of them but yeah you have all of them helping to get Sonic back to his dimension along with Shadow as well and then once that happens it resets everything back to before it um shattered you go back to the moment um in episode one force changes with um sonic just like realizing how to like not cause that and then shadow just teleporting away with the crystal and if, and then of course you just have this like nice um lunch where with all the characters together minus shadow but then it ends up um with like them getting hit by this weird blue energy wave and then they all just have this um team up formation and then the sonic just like runs into the camera and then it just ends what i really don't get why it had to end like that because like you're, you're that's that doesn't really make sense because like i get i get the whole oh there's always a new threat on the horizon but it really doesn't make sense because now because the, the problem with doing something like that, because remember, this is supposed to be the final season, and now you're just gonna have a bunch of people being like, what is this flu energy? Who uh, are the Shatter Spaces back? Did Nine come back? Is the A Council back? Um, is um, Goku finally coming to Sonic Prime? <laughs> if it just ended where it was, he was just appreciating all his friends, and then, um, they just said something where, oh, they showed Eggman is doing something now, um, again, and then just running off to that. I feel like that would have been fine for, like, a new adventure, but then with, like, the whole mystery of, like, that blue energy, it's... It's really not necessary. Where I stand overall. I, of course, love see I, lo I like season one. I enjoyed a lot of season two. But with season three, they, they, it, they, it does... It was way too dragged out it was utilized way too much they used they utilized too many episodes for just one plot line because um pretty much it was just going to be them trying to um get the crystals from nine and that was stretched out for way too many episodes there was no way they were they could do that with so with that many episodes i could have just been two or three episodes and that would have been just fine it did not need to be seven episodes straight of them trying to 
Um, fight the robot army. Tip 9 powering up. Robots powering up again. 9 powering up. Sonic reasoning with them. That did not need to be at least 7 episodes back and forth. The best thing, of course, and I'm glad this is the best thing, of course, because I, I don't know what else I would have enjoyed. I guess maybe 9, but then again, he was a bit odd. I'll talk about him after I talk about this. Definitely, Shadow was the best thing out of this show, because he was pretty much, I'd say, a lot of... He was what a lot of people wanted Shadow to be like for a long time, and yet we were missing that type of personality with Shadow, and now that we finally have it, it's amazing. The voice is on par, a lot of his action sequences are great, his dialogue with Sonic is incredible. They did a, a great with this character. I It was odd, though... That he barely had much dialogue at all, because remember, he really didn't have any interactions at all with other characters. Especially Rouge. He he had no dialogue with Rouge. Like the one like the one character he's known to partner up with. He had one piece of dialogue and it was like with the New York version of her. And that was it. That was like the one um, dialogue exchange they had and nothing else. You really didn't do anything else with that type of pairing, and I'm kind of wish they did, because that's some that's something you barely find now with uh, Sonic. Because like it's been a while since we've had Rouge at all. With that, also I talked about, I got, I should re also talk about Rouge, because with Rouge, she was just she just really remained the same throughout all the other dimensions, because you just really just had a the same version of them not trusting Sonic, and then for some reason trusting Sonic after a while, and then, um, it just was rinse and repeat with that same version with, like, no unique changes. I guess, I would say probably because with each of the dimensions, they focused on, like, one particular character for said dimension, because, of course, New York was, um, Nine was the main focus from there, and then with, uh, the jungle... Thorn was the uh, main focus, and then of course the Pirate One Dread was the main focus. I, Rouge didn't really have like a main focus dimension. Neither did Big, but uh, I don't think I don't think we needed one for Big. I don't know. Now, this is probably be the last thing I'll talk about for this, and this is Sonic's character overall, because <clears throat> pretty much the big thing a lot of people hated with this Sonic in particular was how was pretty much how reckless and clueless we were, he was throughout this whole series because remember he was the reason why the shadow dimensions happened and he um is what caused like a lot of other bad stuff to happen with like um nine getting the crystals um thor getting the, cri uh, the crystal at one point dragon the crystal at one point because he's he was very clueless to like a lot of the character interactions because the, um, I probably I talked about it before in my previous review of season two, where be, because he thinks they're like his friends, he's able to easily just think they're the same person and just like go along with it. And yet, that's what Shadow warned him about that as well, because he said, to, um, of course, Tails is not, or Nine is not Tails, and you should not be thinking that. And yet, because of that, Nine ended up with all the crystals, and it did that whole another season. I will say though, De Devin does a great job. I love his voice a lot. However, the the writing for for Sonic's character characterization does not do him any justice at all. De De Devin does a lot of great work as Sonic throughout throughout the show, and I, I I do I want to compliment that for a lot of the voice actors. They do a great job um, doing the characters justice, but. The, the writing for a lot of them is not there, which really needs it. The way I'd uh, rate this season overall is, I'd say it was... It's honestly a 5? And yeah, for like, a conclusion for the, for after 3 seasons? I, I kind of give it a... If to me, it's like a, a 7 out of 10 show. It's like a 7 out of 10 where it's like, it's good, but story-wise, really isn't. Because you at least have great action, because like that's, that's consistent throughout the whole show. It's like, you have a lot of great 
uh, action. You have a lot of great um, character interactions, but the plot really just goes back and forth, and I kind of wish they went with another direction with that. Say, after after this whole series, I'm done with multiverses. I'm done. I I I, I can't. I I I legit cannot. <laughs> Take these multiverse plot lines. I'm tired. I'm tired of multiverses. I'm really hoping the next Sonic animation we get is is 2D. I'm hoping it's like in that same style they had been using for um for their promotions that they used for um what well, I think it was a yeah Team Sonic Overdrive um. So, it, it, there was, you also had that one for Frontier. I I wanted in like that Frontier style for that one story that they did with Knuckles. I'm hoping we get something like that at the very least. I want like another 2D animated one again because we've had we pretty much had two in a row now because the first we had Sonic Boom and then we had Sonic Prime and then we didn't really have anything else. Like unless you want to count the Mania shorts. I wouldn't count like the Mania shorts and other shorts as well, because like they're not like a full-on show. So, because, because pretty much we just had two 3D ones. I really want to see another 2D animated one, because they do they do so well 2D animated, and we these should really go for another attempt. All I have to say for this whole for the series overall, let, I know I'm guessing I'm not sure how I know a lot of people surprisingly like this season, which. I'm at least glad at, but I know that um, some other people aren't, because like I, I feel like it's going to be divided a little, and I'm curious to see how that is, because I, I, I want to know how other people thought about this season and the series overall now that it's done, and also let me know what you also want to see going forward for another Sonic series. I definitely want to know what you guys would want to see going forward for Sonic. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. I lost the Chaos Emeralds.